Hi everyone, this is Chrissy Salima here, um, or Teacher Chrissy. So I wanted to give you guys my VIP kid update. I have about five minutes, so hopefully I can get this done. But I wanted to let you guys know how blessed I feel right now to have this opportunity to be able to teach from home and to kind of impact students' lives. And I've now been doing it, my phone says, that I have been doing this now for, I will let you know, 72 days. I have been doing this for 72 days. I have taught 80 students and 114 classes. That means that I only teach about one or two classes a day. Today I have four. It kind of puts me off my game when I have four. But the way I organize that is I set out these little packages in the morning with the class name and what I'm teaching. And then I put these in a folder, in a binder. And I'll have to go through my system for you guys a little bit later. And then I put them in order that I'm going to do them for the day. But I, I just had a moment of gratitude because, you know, I, I need to work. You know, there's no getting around that and I didn't want to have to work but now that I do I'm really grateful because I get the opportunity to work from home and we have seen a huge difference in our home one I have to say that I feel there's nothing wrong with being a stay-at-home mom I have worked since I was 13 years old and that summer that I worked I worked full-time um, it was different and I wound up having two jobs and so if you like to work and you kind of need to get that creative energy out, or I don't know if working is creative, but for me, in this job, it tends to be a little creative. I'm showing, you know, scrapbook pages of my daughter to describe brother and sister. And, you know, I create little things for my classroom all the time. So I feel really grateful today. I feel grateful to be able to do this one or two hours a day. I've taught, you know, I've taught for uh, 70 something days and I have 80 something students and I've taken days off I find though that with this job I can go long stretches without a day off I taught for 14 days straight a few weeks ago and that was interesting because I have to say by the 14th day I really needed to sleep in that day um today I got up at four in the morning and I start teaching in four minutes and I actually have to go but I just wanted to let you know that everything's going really well um, I got paid on time. I haven't had any issues. I have 100% uh, five Apple parent feedback. I've had, for the 80-something classes, I want to say that I've had maybe three IT problems. Um, only one teacher IT problem, and that was because I was traveling back home, back east, last week, and I got to teach from the hotel room. And that was really important for me because we had a last minute um, family member get ill and we had to go up there immediately. So I was able to take my job with me. How many people can say that, right? And so I, real, I really am appreciating a lot of the positive aspects of this job and I don't have many negative things to say. This is my classroom. It's also my crafting space. Um, I don't put a lot of money into this. I go to the dollar store. I create a lot of my own things. And I look around my house. And so for 82 days, I have to say I feel really blessed, especially this morning. So I just wanted to give you guys an update, tell you teacher Chrissy is still loving it. And I hope you do too. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me. Or if you want to see what this is about, my referral code will be down there for you and I can answer any questions for you. I had one um, person successfully pass and she's now teaching and I'm so proud of teacher Laura. Um, so if you have any questions, let me know. I'm still lo loving it. I appreciate this journey and I'm really grateful to be able to be working and to not have to leave my son. It's been a blessing. Y'all take care. If you need anything, you let me know. Bye bye. Have a great day.